others' intelligence and character. That's very much a uh, sort of a traditional view of leadership. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. I'm not saying that these, uh, this view of leadership is wrong or these competencies no longer uh, are important. But if you look in the pink box, this is a different or sort of an evolving view of leadership competencies that we see beginning to gain momentum and importance in the marketplace. Collaboration skills, people development, digital literacy, global citizenship, and anticipate the future. We're also seeing a lot of millennials entering the workforce where organizational ethics and organizational governance become very, very important, particularly given the economic meltdown of 2008-2009. Um, so you, know, you kind of mix all this together, and we've got some changes, maybe, that could be appropriate for how we are uh, looking at uh, what we need our leaders to do. Uh, I do want to spend just a second explaining digital literacy. I think I see a question even, but yep. what's meant by digital literacy? <laughs> um, I'm just going to ping you. You got it. Yeah. If you think about the innovations and developments and advances in the workforce, almost all of them have to do with technology, right? So what we mean by this is we need leaders today who are not intimidated by technology tools. So if you think about uh, your CRM, for instance, uh, a lot of uh, management tools have a lot of social elements in them, inspired by social media. Uh, if you think through carefully, your learning management uh, and learning uh, uh, tools, uh, very, very much inspired. A lot of developments are inspired by social media. So uh, having people who are comfortable with digital solutions to business problems is going to become more, not less important. And we need leaders who are